think. Hey. <sighs> yeah. Sorry, the phone had cut off. I was saying I later on, you know, uh, wanted to know were you comfortable with letting the general public know a little bit about your case, how kind of a little bit how it went down, the holding, the separation, the playing against each other, you know, because I think that's something that's very important, you know, because a lot of our black men literally got their life stripped away from them on easy street. I mean, in that, like, it was it was so quickly done at such a young age. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I really think that the general public they should know about a case like yours. You, you you didn't have adult charges. You know, things like that is very important because they need to understand how they're applying law to us and how they look at us. It's like everything we do is on 10, is on crump. And I ain't saying what you did, you don't deserve to, you know, suffer a penalty. But that, that prosecutor, that lady, we ain't gonna say her motherfucking name. One day I'm coming for you because she wanted to railroad you so bad she didn't give a she didn't care so you you remember i know you know so we will i want them to know you know they pull a slick shit and everything so our next next one if you feel comfortable you let me know <clears throat> but, okay so you we talked about the weight in the waiting game and the safe separation because i'm like yo how are y'all all in the same area where people who do get locked up in the same area and then y'all get not to see each other can't you know talk or nothing like you know y'all be split up with lawyers and i really think that's another issue where if y'all in a situation i think there should be one or two lawyers that work together because y'all all yeah, but, but what they say is um every person in the case has the right to their own separate attorney so they can, uh, they do. So, but when that comes in, when it comes in, when that comes in, it boils down to this because my lawyer even said it to me. He said, but I don't give a fuck about your code of business. I don't care about none of that. I'm only worried about you. But that don't make sense. That's why, that's, that's why it's, it's mind fuckery. It don't make sense because they're all involved. When he said that, I'm like, all right, they lawyer saying the same shit. So it was times where we'll kick the lawyers out. Yeah, because they were trying to play y'all. Like, yo, like, like, yo, not, like, yo, we'll be back. <laughs> y'all slide for a minute, come back like 10 minutes, and we'll all sit there and talk for a minute. Good. You know what I mean? And that was just like, the, yo, before we'll y'all was going into court, though. That's the only time y'all really could do that. Yeah, that was before we was going into court. All right, bet. Boom, bang, boom, bang, boom. We'll talk about this. Da, 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 da,
the full story. So I want to just switch to the concept of what is snitching because there's three concepts to it. I mean, three perspectives in my opinion. It's the regular guy, it's the street guy, and it's the jail guy. So could you break it down to the general public? Uh, because there's a difference. There's a big difference. Nah, it, it really is. It really is. Because at the end of the day, a regular person that's not in the streets, working man, pay taxes, this, that. A regular person that's not snitching. That's not, they're not in the streets. Thank you. That's a citizen. But, uh, 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 because now these dudes like using military talk, a civilian, a non combative person <laughs> that's not in the game, they doing what they're supposed to do. That's. That's just no. I don't, I don't know nobody that look at it that know that's snitching. So, but it is. It's people hood, like that. A, dumb, a, a look, a look. But a dumb motherfucker from the hood that grew up with Mr. Willis, nigga stole his car or broke into his house and he told on him. He, he called police. Oh, Mr. Willis, he's a snitch. Exactly. No, he's not. What you talking about? That man ain't in the streets. See, now you got the street nigga that get locked up. And I, they got me from murder. But I know about three other murders. They don't know about them. I know about them. I know this, or this, that. And they get all that information up to get daytime drop. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm willing to testify, everything. That's the fish. Then you got, then you got, they got this, they got another form where, say, a, 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 a nigga get bagged two other people but he like yo I did everything I did this that that and the third blah 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 he told the situation but he never said they did anything but police know he, they was with him but he never said nothing about them he never pointed them out he never said that person did nothing then it becomes a 50-50 murky water cause some motherfuckers like bro he ain't telling you it's done and then another motherfucker like he should've never gave the statement you yeah. see what I'm saying yeah because because he gave up the situation so now it's like he dry snitch but he didn't say our names. So then it become murky water where that's 50 50. And some dudes are, some niggas be like, man, that ain't telling. I don't care. Some motherfuckers just look like you should have never said nothing, period. Yeah. And I feel, I mean, my thing is that's why you don't do crimes with people because, baby, shit, y'all better be on the same way. Everybody be quiet. Everybody be quiet. I, I'm just throwing something out. So, no, no, that's understandable. No, real shit. Because they, that's what that's they do. Shit. They really do that. Um, uh, criminal investigation stuff. Split y'all up. Say he's saying this. This person doing this, and it, it, And they be lying. They be lying. They, 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 they can do lying. that. They be playing tactics. They be doing this and doing that, and doing this and saying that. They can legally do it too. No, they be caught. Yeah, some motherfuckers see because this is where the no telling shit. I ain't gonna say no telling. This is where not stepping up and taking your charges fuck up at. I seen dudes, I seen two cousins get locked up together for a car check. They had one of them dead to rights. The other one, they barely, like, they, uh, there was a slither. Like, they knew he was with them in the car, but they couldn't fucking prove it. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But they locked them up for a general purpose. So now they caught them together because they knew it was two people involved in them. So now, he telling him, like, look, bro, like, take the charge. Like, they don't have me cut me loose. Now nah, we riding together. What you mean we riding together? Man up and take that shit on the chin. Mm. And this is where it falls in that, that a nigga be like, all right, you don't want to take the shit? I got something for you. But a lot of these jails, a lot of these county jails, you can call a prosecutor. If you sit on the phone long enough, it's going to be a button for you to press to call a prosecutor. Or you look up and they got papers on the wall with the prosecutor number on I mean, especially in a situation like that where there's no loyalty, like literally, you picked up your man just to drop him off somewhere, didn't know he had this weed on him or whatever, and then he got right. pulled over, and then he like, nah, we about to both take this, because I, I got too much. Da, da, da. Nah, see, and it's nah, levels to that. Think, it's nah, levels to this. Just, just take your shit. Take your shit. Like, don't. They say it's no, nope. it's no honor amongst dogs. Like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta take your shit. Like, just, just take your shit, bro. Like, don't put your gun under the seat in my car. Motherfucker, that shit was just on your head. Keep it on your head. Dang. 
gotta move. Like, and then, and I like to have these conversations because these young generations don't move with no loyalty at all. Like, literally, your generation after mine, the last of my weekends. No disrespect, because these young people straight brainwashed. They, they literally in the TV, in the internet, so they haven't even tested the real. Y'all was the last ones running outside. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Bad. Y'all was the last ones running outside. So their perspective is really on some AI control stuff. So I, I'm glad you could break this down because it's real. They need to hear it. They need to hear it from me that experienced it. Uh, we, we, we were in the streets. They not in the streets no more. So it's good that we and, out and, here and putting this out there. I was explaining that. I was talking to a young dude, no, no lie. When I'm 28, now 18, a lot of you not. Yo, but what do we do reminded me of me when I was like, when I was home, like, I'm like, damn, like, so I'm beating down with this shit. He's like, but I can't relate to dudes my age. I'm like, damn, bro. I said, that's how I was growing up. Cause I hung around a lot of dudes. He's like, yeah, that's how I was my whole life and shit. Like, you feel me? So I'm like, oh, I bet someone I'm talking to. He's like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't really with that social media shit. I ain't with that cell phone shit. His whole perspective of how he moves way different than things in his age. And it made me notice that, yo, his cell phone, these, these apps, this, 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 he, he, social media, he was breaking it down to me. He like, bro, like I, he said, you're going on social media and know who beefing. I'm like, how? He like, bro, they, 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 they go live and they <laughs> arguing with each other. That's why my man killed ten men. I'm gonna kill you, shit. nigga. Wow. Showing guns and all that shit. I said, what? He like, word up, yeah. bro. Like, he was breaking that shit down to me. And now they portraying that shit on TV. It's TV shows where niggas is doing that shit. Word up, beefs, beefs, beefs amongst each other on the internet, and and, and I'm a highlight. This started from Takashi Six Nine. You know, it was definitely in in, in heightened because this this thing stay on the internet yep. talking about I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and then nobody but stopped these literally terroristic threats. You see what I'm saying? That's the bullshit that they let come out into our community. But when we here talking this real nigga shit, crickets or restriction. While this nigga out here creating a whole fucking gangster, excuse my language, gangster tone on the, the internet. The, the funny part about it is, I know niggas that know him. Like, so, you know, we from North. So, running around in New York is you not already know what he New York, is. everything. So, me running around in Brooklyn, I know a bunch of niggas that know him. And they broke everything down to me. He not no street nigga. Nah, he a bodega nigga. He a bodega nigga. Go ahead. Yeah, you got, you got Yo, you got one and a half minute, and I'm gonna ask. Supposed to be at the poppy store selling stuff, and then they just took these people out and made them literally the epitome of idolism in our black people. Like, people want them. And no disrespect. Do, do you? That's your hustle. We need to know it's real. We need to know it's real. But that's what's up. We're gonna finish our conversation. And maybe the next time we can talk about your case. If not, we're going to move forward a little bit too. You know, uh, and talk about locked up the process. Like, just the process of what people to expect. Oh, and you check out your name. We talked about the, 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 yeah, the mental, yeah, you know what we're talking about. That whole shit is crazy.